Oh, good. Come on in. Yes, you found it. This is the tool class. Yeah, just be sure to close the door behind you. Uh-huh, yeah, come on in. Don't be shy, you girls. Come on, come on in. Oh, oh, you must be, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Can you tell me about your name again? Cheryl. Cheryl, okay, great. Cheryl, I did get your message, and of course married women are welcome, too. <laughs> Everybody, this is Cheryl. She's new. And, oh, and newly married. Let's all say hi to Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. behind you. Uh-huh. Yes. I know we're hard to find here. We're sort of tucked away in the back of the hardware store, but I kind of like that. Like, teaching women how to use tools should be secret. <laughs> well, I really want to serve red wine and cheese with this class, but apparently OSHA has some issues with serving alcohol and mixing it with power tools. <laughs> well, my name is Rosie, and I will be leading you through a workshop called do it herself, tools for life improvement. You can take my class as many times as you need to. It's okay, because each week I present a new tool or trick of the trade, and I never do the same thing twice. Gotta keep the material fresh and exciting. <laughs> well, <laughs> we get started each week with a tool challenge. Now, I promise not to throw some boards at you and, some, and a staple gun and say, build me a birdhouse or I'm kicking you off the island. Okay, that's just some tool humor. But really, think to yourself, what is this? Say it out loud if you know. What should we call it? What? Oh, you mean a cranky knobber? Well, I'm not exactly sure how to use it, but I know it's important, and I like the sound it makes. yourselves, just what kind of tool class is this? <laughs> you wanted to learn about tools? Well, I'm going to teach you how to get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. We've gone from the damsels in distress to the jill of all trades. There has to be a middle ground. We need to find the balance. Let me ask this quick question. How many of you know how to make lasagna? Raise your hands. Okay, we'll get to that later. <laughs> but first, it's time to take stock of our assets. We are strong, confident, educated, modern women, aren't we? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even women with low voices can be confident. <laughs> If you're good at everything, you'll be doing everything. <laughs> Some of us have families and we practically run the whole shebang at home too, huh? Yeah. We could call a handyman, but Joe the plumber is kind of expensive. <laughs> and I hear he's it's hard to reach these days. <laughs> Friends. There are people out there who already know how to do this, and they enjoy it. So it's time to ask yourselves, who do you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to Rosie's tool tip number one. How to find a stub. <laughs> I'll only screw it up and you'll have wasted your time making a good lasagna. <laughs> Here's the trick. Hand him one of these. If he says that he can't use a stud finder because he doesn't trust these things, well, then you know you've got yourself a handy man with some old school experience. <laughs> and that brings me to Rosie's tool tip number two. The door's closed, right? the bait and switch. <laughs> now, it is important to know how to handle your power tools because you don't want him to be suspicious. <laughs> this trick works on unsuspecting friends, boyfriends, or spouses. Okay, let's review. You found your target. He has skills. 
<laughs> the lasagna is in the oven. <laughs> the mirror you got at cost plus, sitting on the floor. Where does it need to be? Hung on the wall. <laughs> present the bait. Rosie knows what men like. <laughs> they like toys. <laughs> it's time to set the trap. Oh, you like my mirror? I know, it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. And um, I'm not exactly sure where the studs are. The guy at Osh said that I probably needed a Molly. Forget about Molly, what you need is a Tom, Dick, or Harry. <laughs> <laughs> He's eyeing the drill. He wants to touch it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for it. You can move. Position yourself between him and the drill. <laughs> work for it. Be patient. The drill's a little heavy for your feminist hand. You put it down on the counter. Now, the switch. He's got the drill, it's in his hand. Once he's got a hold of it, he's gonna wanna use it. Guys go crazy for tools like this. <laughs> the job is as good as done, and your mirror is as good as hung. <laughs> now, remember the lasagna? You tell him that lasagna needs some time to cool. And that's just enough time to hang my heavy mirror. Why, yes, I do have a pencil to mark the wall. <laughs> <laughs>